Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. Today we're going over the September 2024 NRL 22 course of fire. This is the last stage. It is called Back to School Struggle, which is odd because I thought August's fifth stage was also Back to School Struggle, also used the latter. So maybe I'm having deja vu all over again. And uh, basically we have three targets out there and it's just gonna be four rungs of the ladder of your choice without repeating a rung. And uh, near to far, far to near, near to far, far to near. So this is like the only mental trip up of the entire match. So it's always been near to far, large to small. Um, here it's going to be near, far, far near, near, far, far near. So again, this match, if you've been catching up with the videos, is less about the mental target order acquisition, that kind of thing, more about building super stable positions because the targets are relatively smaller than most matches we've had in months prior. As far as gear goes on this stage, you know, I usually bring like a pump pillow like this uh, for the, some of these lower rungs. And I use a flat bag. I know not everyone has access to a flat bag. For me, it's important because I have a quick detach spur mount, so it's really tall. So I have a lot of room on top here. So I wanna make sure I have enough room to clear the rungs. And uh, probably should take the bipod off, to make transitions in and out of the rungs easier. And I always suggest with stages like this where you have a choice of the order of ladder rungs, we're gonna work with gravity instead of against gravity, especially if you're someone who has trouble getting in and out of a prone or modified prone position. We wanna finish at the bottom. That's the end of the stage so we can take our time making the gun safe, getting off the line, and we're not struggling to get into a new position from a prone position because that's difficult for some people. So understanding that, working with gravity and then leaving sort of the most difficult position to get out of at the end really helps with time management. As far as dials or hold holdovers, I think you can go either way. Um, probably will have to adjust parallax a little bit along the way. So maybe holdovers will save you some time. Let's try holdovers. So 50 yards uh, is usually your zero. And then for me, my dope is uh, about 1.2 and then 1.7, 1.8 mils on that far target at 100. It will be different at my range because the 100 yard berm is at an angle. Um, so that's going to throw some shenanigans into the works but honestly it's a relatively straightforward stage um, it's just about getting stable and knowing sort of what body position you want to be in at all of these different heights so again you probably have a six foot ladder at your house so you want to know going in okay for me and my height i'm going to be standing on rung four kneeling for the next two rungs and then doing a modified prone for the bottom rung so let's see what this might look like in practice Again, I have the flat bag attached to the rifle. I'm gonna take the bipod off. Although it does help with balance, we're gonna take it off because it's gonna make getting in and out of the rungs easier. And let's see what this looks like in practice. So let's say I have all this stuff in hand. I'm gonna drop all this because I'm not gonna need it at the start of the stage. Yeah, see it's a little, still a little rear heavy. That's better. Kind of get the rifle in a balanced position shoulder of the rifle, square to the target. Embrace the wobble, hold 1.2, hold 1.8. Okay, and bolt back to move, in, or out, in. Here, maybe I'll reach down, grab this pump pillow for more stability. Find the target, far to near this time. So this, this is the one mental thing of the match. Holding 1.8, holding 1.2, holding zero. All right, out and in. Now a lot of, some people like shove up against the side, they put their hand on top here. I don't bother with any of that. Bring these bags for super stability near 1.2 middle, 1.8 far. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Out and in. How are we doing on time? Plenty of time, like 30 seconds left. Of course, I'm not adjusting parallax or anything like that along the way, so take that into consideration. Here, modified prone, super stable. Oh, almost messed up. I gotta go far and near. 1.8, 1.2, straight up. And there we go. So obviously those bottom positions, much more stable, especially with rear support. Time, 
plenty of time even talking through it. Uh, yeah, these two rungs are definitely super stable. So if, if you're at a day where you have to make a bold wind call, right? Maybe you want to be on that second rung because it's still easy to transition out of this rung. Maybe I would go like two, three, four, and then one, but I can get super stable here and uh, be able to make a wind call in a more stable position so I can make sure it's all of my doing and not being unstable, that's throwing the round off. So that's something to consider <coughs> if you need, if you need to make bold wind calls, maybe pick a more stable position first and then you can go two and then work your way up because both of these for me are kneeling. So it's pretty simple, stand up and then go prone or maybe, yeah, that's probably how I would do it. Two, three, four, one, if you're on a windy, windy day. Other than that, if you're not using a flat bag, really you're just gonna pick your favorite bag of choice. Um, this is an OG size game changer. I feel like this is a little bit too big for this. Uh, so I'd bring like my pint size or some other bag. Um, but usually these rungs are super wide. So like a bag that's as big as this gets nice and flat when you use the wedge side down, but if you're using a smaller bag, maybe turn it on its side. That gets you a little bit more purchase, a little bit more flat area for the fore end of the rifle to rest on. If these strategies, tips, and tricks help you score more points at your matches, let me know down in the comments while you're down there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until I see you next time, hopefully with some match footage, as always, score more points. Mm -hmm.